Welcome to Men Reading the Bible. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. It is the 82nd reading. We are in 1 Kings chapters 12 through 14. Our topic and our question is, how can we finish our lives strong? Tell you a little story. My dad is 81 years old. He um, pastored for um, about 30 years at a little country church in the Midwest. And um, he was a foreign missionary in the Philippines and in Mexico. And uh, he's 81 and uh, pastoring a church in Texas right now. And um, the words that he tells me and tells his family is that he wants to finish strong. He says, I don't want to, um, I, I, I want to go out with my, my, the gas pedal pushed to the floor. And, but mostly when he gets very serious, he says, I don't want to do something foolish and dishonor God. I don't want to lose the respect of my family. And when we understand that pressing into the kingdom of God and drawing closer to God and, and seeking to influence those around us with, um, with the word of God, it's game on. The enemy put comes after you and he would love to discredit and loves to discredit, um, Christian men who, who lead. And, uh, it's a sobering thing, but life is war. And once we understand that, then we know the, the, um, uh, the rules of the game. So how do we finish life strong? Let's look at the big picture of the Bible. It's a unified story that points to King Jesus. This book, 1 Kings, we see that God desires to give his people a king. And this king is going to come through the line of David. Who will it be? Well, we found out it's not Solomon. Will it be someone else coming up in 1 and 2 Kings? We'll have to find out. We know the end of the story. Uh, What's happening in this reading? Well, to reach back into yesterday's reading, chapter 11, verse 1. Oh, man, things were going so well with Solomon. And then it says his heart was captured by um, the wives that he had married for political alliance. And um, they worshiped other gods and they drew Solomon's heart away from the Lord. So sobering. And then his son, Rehoboam, becomes king, King Rehoboam. And in a word, uh, Tim Keller says Rehoboam is stupid. And under Rehoboam's rule, the unified kingdom that finally came together after all of the generations is divided. And I misspoke a couple times ago and said the northern tribes were Judah. Um, The northern tribes are called Israel. Ten tribes are split to the north and then two tribes are called Judah to the south. And uh, this is what is said. Um, this is what boastful, stupid Rehoboam said. Uh, they, as they was dialoguing with, dialoguing with the men around him, they said, your father made our yoke heavy, but you lighten it for us. Thus shall you say to them, my little finger is thicker than my father's thighs. And now, whereas my father laid on you a heavy yoke, I will add to your yoke. My father disciplined you with whips, but I will discipline you with scorpions. Things did not end well. And now we start out in another generation of, uh, of disappointment in the Kings. How do we finish strong? And I worded this in a way that kind of makes us think, oh, we have three steps on how to finish life strong. There are no, there's one step and it's pray. Uh, Take the word of God and get on your knees and beg God to, uh, when we get older and we get weaker and uh, when, I don't know, whatever happens in our lives, um, how can we finish strong? Well, start working on our pride right now. And uh, start drawing close. Do what we're doing right now. Go to the word of God and ask him, show me, show me what you would have me do with my life. Whatever you want me to do, Lord, show me what you would have me do with your life, with, with the life that, 
that God has given us. So um, pray. How do we finish strong? Pray. So uh, let's pray right now. Dear Father, I pray right now that um, we will finish strong. Please, please, Lord, help me finish strong. Help me uh, avoid the catastrophe of these kings that we see in the Old Testament. Dear Father, what is happening here? My, it's banging. Um, dear Father, I uh, I wanna I want to to love you more. I want to respect you more. I want to labor together with you more. And I pray that uh, at, at my age, moving forward, that uh, this will be a season of harvest, not a season of compromise and disappointment. And I pray for each man that's uh, listening to this recording, that you would um, give them a, uh, a warrior's prayer to know we are in a battle. We're in the battle to honor our God and to bless our, our homes and bless our churches and businesses. And Lord, may we finish well. May we finish strong. Let it be, God. We need you so. The only way it'll happen is, um, is if you provide and protect us. Please do that. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. God bless you.